Hi, Alan Hurd here from Hurd and Son. I'm on the last lap of probably something that you've had a look at already. It's this sofa table. I'm getting all of the muck off from when it had flood damage. So this is the last little bit. And I thought I'd just have a quick chat to you before I finished about how to get this dirt off of a table in the corners. And it is as simple as using a toothbrush. If you gently just rub you'll get all of the the muck out of the little creases where the turning has been made now this turning isn't rosewood as is the rest of the table this is mahogany this is kind of normal because the rosewood tree isn't very big and so you wouldn't have the stretcher going across here made out of rosewood so it's mahogany that has been stained dark and then as you can see it's worn so that when you see it under, under the light you'll see that it's a, a, it is a natural mahogany colour on the top where people have been rubbing their feet on it. But this is the last of the muck. We'll just get this off. And then we can stand it aside to let it dry. And also you can assess what the rest of the work is to be done. Now that we've got a clear view of the grain and the actual construction method of the table, it'll give us an idea of how we're going to complete. And that is, you'll see here, there's a curvature to the top. I'll turn that round so that you can see. But that really has got a good curvature to it. Now that's not all to do with the flood. This construction method at the front where you've got a rail here that's fitted underneath the side frame and then the top rail there that's fitted onto the top of the side frame is naturally weak because there isn't much thickness to create a good structure and the drawers sit into there. And what's happened is because there's no support for the table top it's floating about four inches from there forwards so it's got naturally got the chance to warp upwards if the grain of the top underneath this veneer was facing the other way it would try and curl downwards but it's just unfortunate that it's curling up not all to do with the flood some of it's to do with the constructional methods of the table but what I've got to do to get rid of that is take the table top off re-glue these rails black back into position and then I've got to put relief grooves underneath the top with a saw, pull the table top down then fill the grooves with timber again, let, it, let the glue set and then it will stay flat. Quite a lot of work just to get rid of that curve on the top. That's what we've got to do. I'll do some close-up shots now so that you can see a little bit closer what I mean and what I've just explained about that's it all clean, now we've got the constructional work to do. See you in a bit. You'll see here now that I've turned the table over that where the timber has expanded through being in water, it's expanded and then returned back and the little blocks that hold the side rails to the, or the top to the side rails have cracked. Now it's obviously got screws in as well, two at the back and three across the front they've been attacked at some time by somebody else trying to repair it but as much as that's holding the top to the frame these blocks are doing nothing so the top's got to come off the blocks have all the old glue taken off re-glued back into position then the top can go and be a nice sound fit again quite a lot of work to do but you'll see it being done okay Right, no time like the present. Let's start getting some of these screws out. Now, I can see already that somebody's used a gouge to make the openings bigger, but they've also made it so that the screws go lower here. So the original screws were probably up here. They've opened all this out and then they've gone in with a bigger drill so that this head sits lower so instead of just putting in another screw hole they've tried to use the same one and it's not worked I have to 
can use a dumpy screwdriver on those. Just a tip for you, these are the old slotted screws that would have been period for this piece of furniture. If you ever have screws missing, never ever put cross-headed screws back in. It's not period for the piece of furniture and it will spoil it. If you ever want to sell it, the person that's buying it will see that straight away that work's been done on it. I'm going to hide all of this bright woodwork before it goes back to the customer. See you next time when the top's off.